Today we're going to discuss the most optimal way for you to go about making enough money to purchase the most expensive item in Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. The crown. The crown is simply an accessory for your partner to wear. I think it's mostly for bragging rights as I personally don't care much for how it looks, but if you want one, I've done some simple maths based on how long it takes me to personally earn this much cash. Of course, this is my own run and yours could take longer, it could go faster. It honestly depends on which Pokemon you're using, which admittedly, using Pikachu isn't the fastest way, but it's the fastest way for me personally right now. Uh, so don't take this video as cold hard facts, more of just a general idea of how long it could take you to make $999,999 in Pokemon. So for me, with a level 100 partner Pikachu with maxed out AVs and very minimum payday shenanigans uh, and with animations turned off, it takes me roughly 13 to 15 minutes to get through the Elite Four and Champion. Uh, Lance and the Champion can be a pain, which is why in this recording you will see me occasionally use Vaporeon instead of Pikachu, but honestly, they're interchangeable. What Pikachu struggles to beat, Vaporeon beats easily and vice versa. Bottom line, you need Pokemon that can one-shot most things. Without using Payday at all, you will get around $69,500 each time you go through, which is around 70k. Let's round it up. Uh, meaning, if I run through the Elite Four 10 times, I'll wind up with 700k. Uh, but we're still 299k off, so running through another four or five times will bring us up to the 1 million mark, which is what we're looking for. So if we do 70k times 14 Elite Four runs, we get 980k. Honestly, 14 runs through the Elite Four with a few payday shenanigans should be enough to bring you to the 999k mark. Uh, if you're not there, uh, there's daily events that you can do uh, to get high value items to sell. You can talk to the Slowpoke Lady in Pewter City. She'll give you a big pearl and you can talk to the Diglett, uh, which is in the guy with gold teeth's house and he'll give you a nugget. You can sell those and get some extra cash if you're if you're really strapped for it. 14 runs through the Elite Four doesn't sound too bad. With an average of 15 minutes each, it'll take a total of 210 minutes, which is about three and a half hours. Obviously the 15 minute runs are super strict. It leaves no room for breaks or anything like that. So being realistic, let's say it would take 17 minutes per run. Uh, which would give you a total of about 4 hours to make $999,999 by battling the Elite Four. Obviously there's other ways to make money, but I figured if you're starting from nothing, this would be the fastest way. And it's the most mindless way. For the most part, you can just mash A, and uh, I've been writing this script as I've been grinding out the money, uh, uh, for example, and I've also been watching Netflix on the side. Um, obviously there's 4 hour total, uh, you know, if you did it in one sitting, it would be pretty, pretty grueling. But you know, you could do like half an hour each night or something. Just to get this video out for you guys, personally, I've done two two hour sittings. Uh, and it hasn't been that bad, because like I said, I've been watching Netflix at the side. So I've not really felt like I've, uh, I've been grinding, you know. I'm just making money by spamming A. Like I said, my method takes me about four hours, but you can make it go faster. If you have two level 100 Persians with the complete max attack stat, you can get, you know, if, you've, if you're running Payday and you're using the two player mode uh, and you're just constantly using Payday on the, on the Pokemon that you're up against in the Elite Four, Personally, I don't have this, but if you are using this method, you can get about 100k each run. And each run will take about 15-20 minutes as well. So that would be a much faster run and I think it would shave like an hour off of your total time. So it would take you about 3 hours with using 2 Persians in Payday. Which hey, that's pretty good as well. It's just right now I don't actually have anybody uh, to give me a Meowth that I can train up. I, I, to be honest, for me right now, it would be faster for me to just go through it this way. Um, but in future, to grind money, I'm probably gonna train up uh, two Persians to level 100 and just have them have payday at max PP. Anyways, the whole point of this video was just to share with you guys. Uh, it would take you, if you want to save up a million, even if it's not for the crown, if you just want to save up a million just to have a million and have, you know, spare money for Ultra Balls and stuff, uh, then it'll take you about three to four hours, roughly, I would say, give or take. Maybe f pushing five hours if your Pokemon aren't level 100. Which, by the way, if you're looking for a guide, an easy guide on how to level your Pokemon up to level 100, a link to that will be in the description for you guys. I made one of those. So you should check that out if you're wondering, how, how do I get my Pokemon to level 100? Ah, trust me, it's really, it's really easy. Anyways, now for the most important part of the video. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my experience with buying the crown, the most expensive item in Let's Go Pikachu 
and let's go Eevee. I hope this helped. All right, boys and girls, so as you just saw there, I went through my method uh, of earning a million. Uh, took quite a while because I was earning, uh, I've been battling the Elite Four um, quite consistently for a long time. Um, the first thing I grinded money for was Hyper Beam that costs 100K. The second thing I grinded for uh, was all the Mega Stones, which was a total of 270k. So that's 370k I had to grind right there. Once that was done, I decided, you know what, I'm gonna grind for the crown. So now that I'm done grinding for the crown, it took me a long time. Another thing I did to grind, um, I didn't just do Elite Four runs, I also have the Pokeball Plus. Now, the thing about the Pokeball Plus is, when you take your Pokemon for a stroll, you get different rewards. Uh, I think over the course of three days of me just going out for like two hour long walks, uh, I got the reward of 13 rare candies. Those 13 rare, rare candies I got, I just sold them because there's easier ways to level up your Pokemon. Um, so those 13 rare candies I got, I sold and I got 65k for them. So, uh, yeah, the Vocal Ball Plus helped a lot, um, but, you know, if I did just sit down and do this method, it would take me four hours, roughly, to, to get through the Elite Four, uh, which, I mean, to be honest, I've been battling the Elite Four longer than four hours, because, like I said, I needed to earn money, uh, for, uh, my, my Hyper Beam, I've bought all the, I've got all the, the TMs in the game now, I had to buy all the Mega Stones, I think the Crown is the last big purchase, and I've saved my game before um, going up here, and I'm still not sure if I want to keep the crown or not. I've seen what it looks like, but I, I'm just, I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see um, how I feel about it. Like I said, I've saved before buying, because I don't know if I want to just throw away 999,999 Poke Dollars on aesthetic. But it would be pretty cool to have, right? Um, so basically, you come up to the Celadon bit, you come talk to this lady, uh, I think you go special. And here we are. And, oh, it's so expensive. Oh, it's so expensive. Oh, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of Ultra Balls I'm throwing away right there. <sighs> I can always grind it back, right? Gee, oh, that hurt. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. That hurt. That hurt. Oof. That's a big purchase. It does feel good to grind all that money, but then just to throw it all away. It's like in Pokemon Go, when you grind up so much Stardust, then you just use it to max out one Pokemon. You're just like, uh, my Stardust. Um, so let's check out the clothing, uh, the clothing trunk. This is an accessory for Pikachu. It is a hat. Whew. All right, Pikachu. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> He's just got a crown on his head. Like, I don't know if I want that. Like, aesthetic-wise, it looks really dumb. But like just to just to flex, just to straight up flex it and be like, yeah, I spent a million on a crown. What of it? You know, just just for that alone, it's, it might be worth. You know. Um. So I'm gonna go ahead and just remove his. All he needs is the crown. I don't need anything but this crown. Uh, I figured it would make sense. Uh, we go. <laughs> He's wearing a crown. Look at this man. Look at this dude. Uh, I figured it'd be best if we went ahead and uh, showed it off in battle. Waffle is uh, playing. Wait, what? You're not gonna make any comment about the crown I just bought you? No, no, no comment. Look how stupid you look. Look how stupid you look, man. Focus cheeks. <laughs> this is everybody's king. Um, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go to the elite four. I mean, I may as well. I'm gonna have to get my money back somehow. Am I right, guys? Uh, we're going to go through the Elite Four, and we're going to see if this crown is truly worth it in battle. Uh, I think I'll turn battle animations on just for the purpose of this. Um, just battle effects on. We'll turn those back on just for the purpose of uh, showing off the, the animation. Uh, but yeah, that's been how, the I guess, the, the best way. Or it's not really the best way, it's more just the maths as to how long it would take you to get the crown. Let's just go ahead and take on Lorelei and, and see. It feels it feels good, but also bad at the same time. I just spent a lot of money and a lot of time for something that I don't even think looks that good. Like, do I really keep this? Should I should I really save after this? You know, should I should I maybe go back and get my money back? There he is. <laughs> that is the most expensive item. And let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee. The thing is, I like my Pikachu with the little tuft of hair, but he doesn't have the tuft of hair anymore when I've got this crown on. Uh, whatever. Zippy zap. Is 
I mean, what what can I say? I just dropped a million on this. I'm kind of tempted to keep it just as like the whole completionist aspect, uh, but then I feel like if I if, if I'm going to buy the crown, then I surely need to buy every single piece of clothing in this game. So I might need to do some calculations as to how long it would take me to get all the other clothing. Um, but I don't think it would take me anywhere near as long as this crown. Uh, but I could be law. I could be wrong. I guess if you add everything up together. I don't know. Regardless, um, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope uh, you learned something. <laughs> uh, go ahead and get yourself a crown. Uh, if you do wind up getting a crown, feel free to tweet it at me. I'd love to see you with your Pikachu slash Eevee wearing a crown. It would be very interesting uh, to see if, see if you guys actually go through with it. Uh, I don't know what I should do. Uh, you guys should let me know in the comments. I won't save my game after this run. Uh, of the Elite Four, I will put it on sleep mode because uh, I've got to go out and run some errands. Um, but by the time I get back, you guys in the comments, let me know. Should I keep the crown or should I keep the million? L let me know what you think. <laughs> I'm tempted to do a poll for it because I'm just, I'm so stuck. Should I keep it? Can I just let my Pikachu wear the crown? I mean, I earned it, right? Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope the video helped and I'll catch you in the next one.